a jogger and a walker set out at 9 a.m. from the same point, headed in the same direction. The average speed of the jogger is one mile per hour slower than twice the speed of the walker. So that, that's going to be an equation right there. The average speed of the jogger is one mile per hour slower than twice the speed of the walker. And then they say, in two hours, the jogger is three miles ahead of the walker. That's going to be another equation. In, in two hours, the jogger is three miles ahead of the walker. Find the rate of the jogger. So let's write down that first statement in equation form. The average speed of the jogger, let's call that, let's call that the speed of the jogger, that's the average speed of the jogger, is one mile per hour slower than twice the speed of the walker. So that's equal to 2 times the speed of the walker minus 1. Right? It's one mile, an hour, one mile per hour slower than twice the speed of the walker. So that's that first statement. And then they say, in two hours, the jogger is three miles ahead of the walker. So if we go two hours into the future, so in two hours, the second statement is, the jogger is three miles ahead of the walker. So we could say that the distance, the distance that the jogger has traveled, so the distance of the jogger, is three miles more than the distance of the walker, is equal to the distance of the walker plus three. That's what I'm saying. This is how far the jogger has traveled. He's traveled three miles more than the walker. Now, right now I have two equations with four unknowns. That's not cool. But they've given us some information. They said this has happened after two hours. So we can express the distances they've traveled in terms of the speed they traveled at. Just as a bit of a review, distance is equal to rate times time. Distance is equal to rate times time. In this situation, the time is two. The rate is the speed of each of each person, so we can figure out the distance. So if you want to know that the distance that the jogger traveled, the distance that the jogger traveled, that's just going to be two hours times the speed of the jogger. So it's just going to be two times the speed of the jogger, right? Distance is equal to rate times time, or times times rate, either way. What's the distance of the walker? Well, it's going to be two hours times the speed of the walker. Right, distance is equal to rate times time. So now we can rewrite this equation in terms of the speeds of the jogger and the walker. So this, this equation right here, we can rewrite it as, instead of writing the distance of the jogger, we could write 2 times the speed of the jogger, that's that right there, is equal to, instead of writing the distance of the walker, we could write 2 times the speed of the walker, 2 times the speed of the walker, make sure that's a subscript, speed of the walker plus 3. Now we have two equations and two unknowns. And it looks pretty tempting to eliminate one of the variables. In particular, we have a 2 times the speed of the walker. We have a 2 times the speed of the walker here. What we could do is we could multiply this second equation by negative 1 and then add the 2s. Then these guys will cancel out. So let's do that. Actually, let's do it even a better way. Let's multiply the top equation by negative 1 and then add them. So let's multiply the top equation by negative 1. This becomes a negative times the speed of the jogger. This becomes a negative 2 times the speed of the walker. Negative 1 times plus, uh, times negative t 1 times negative 1 is plus 1. And now if we add these two equations, these two guys are going to cancel out. And what do we get? We get 2 times the speed of the jogger minus the speed of the jogger. Well, that's just going to be the speed of the jogger. right? 2 of something minus 1 of something is just 1 of that thing is equal to, these two guys cancel out. That was the whole point behind multiplying the top equation by negative 1. And then you have 1 plus 3. So the speed of the jogger is 4. And we're done. That's all they want us to find. Find, find the rate of the jogger. And we just figured it out. If we also wanted to figure out the rate of the walker, we could substitute back into this top equation right here, or the original version of it which was the speed of the jogger is equal to 2 times the speed of the walker minus 1. We know the speed of the jogger is 4. So you get 4 is equal to 2 times the speed of the walker minus 1. Add 1 to both sides. You get 5 is equal to 2 times the speed of the walker. Divide both sides by 2. And you get the speed of the walker is 2 and a half. The speed of the walker is 2 and a half miles per hour. But we didn't even have to do that. This was the answer that the problem was looking for.